in the last video we have derived an expression for the pitot tube and some method for calculating the discharge or discharge velocity and some method for calculating the velocity of flow using pitot tube now today we will study the some terms related to the pitot tube which are arise during while we solve the numerical of pitot tube so let us start now you can see the figure of one pipe here water is flowing from left to right direction and here piezometer tube is inserted in the pipe and pitot tube is also inserted that this is piezometer and this is pitot tube pitot tube is just simply a figure bent at right angle used to measure the velocity of flow at the point one when we insert the pitot tube the liquid rises let the portion immersed in the liquid is capital H and the reading shows by piezometer is H1 and let this total depth of liquid in the piezometer tube of the pipe is S2. Now we can calculate the difference of pressure head here. Let this is H. H is the difference of pressure between pressure head S plus S2 minus this S plus S1. This is S, then this is also S. So this S is equal to simply S2 minus S1 or S1 S plus S2 minus S plus S1. This is the difference of head between this piezometer and pitot tube. Now I will tell you what is static pressure. The pressure measured by a piezometer tube is called static pressure in the flowing fluid. And the pressure measured by the pitot tube when liquid flows, then the pressure at the point where the velocity is reduced to zero is called stagnation pressure. So I write here stagnation pressure and static pressure. the height corresponding to the static pressure is called static pressure head In this figure, static pressure head is this H, the depth in which the tube is immersed, plus the portion where the liquid rises, that is H plus H1. Now I want to write the definition of stagnation pressure that is the pressure corresponding to the zero velocity point.
here stagnation pressure head is s2 plus s Now we have this yes, difference of liquid level in the piezometer tube and spitter tube. This here is, is called dynamic pressure head. Just is, it is the difference of stagnation pressure head and static pressure head. Therefore, dynamic pressure head equal to stagnation pressure head minus static pressure head. Please note this formula. This is used in the numerical problem while doing the numerical related to the Peter tube. Now we will do the numerical of Peter tube relating to this stagnation pressure rate, static pressure rate, and dynamic pressure rate. Here we go with its solution. First of all, read the question. A pit of static tube is used to measure the velocity of the water in a pipe. The stagnation pressure head is 6 meter and static pressure head is 5 meter. Calculate the velocity of flow assuming the coefficient of tube is equal to 0.8. So we read the given question. What is given in the question? Stagnation pressure 6 meter. Stagnation pressure head. Static pressure head is 5 meter. Let this is H S T. This is 6 meter, this is 5 meter. So we have a relation. Stagnation pressure head is equal to static pressure head plus pressure head plus dynamic pressure head. Stagnation pressure head is given is 6 meter static pressure is given 5 meter so we can calculate dynamic pressure rate therefore dynamic pressure head is equal to 6 minus 5 meter 
this is 1 meter. We are asked to find the velocity of flow assuming the coefficient of tube 0.98. So, velocity of flow as CV is given as 0.98. So, we are asked to find the velocity. This is B, velocity of flow. B, we have formula B equal to CV root under 2GH. This implies B equal to we have CV 0 0.98 into root under 2 into G 9.81 into H 1 meter. When you press this on calculator, we get 4.34 meter per second.